Pipe Network presents. This episode of the Rajiv Show, we are going to take a deep dive on a little bit of journaling here, but it's a mixed with uh, something that I learned from Twitter. So um, if you're curious to know what it is, come join me. Let's have some fun, shall we? Let's go. Hey folks, welcome back to The Rajiv Show. My name is Rajiv Doreswami and this show we talk about philosophy, motivation and journaling, not in that particular order. But in this segment, we are going to talk about my creator journey and how I started this podcast four years ago, three years ago, technically, four years this coming April. And uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, basically, I didn't really journal myself through writing, but I journal myself through memory. And I would like to put that memory into this video and through the upcoming segments that will come with this uh, series uh, called Creator Journey. But before we get into the episode, of course, I would love to invite you to my newsletter where you get weekly updates on when the newsletter is. Of course, YouTube, Spotify. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe over on YouTube. And if you're watching this on Spotify, guys, click that follow button. It longs for love since we just we just passed Valentine's Day. So now let's get into the meat and bones of this episode. Uh, this is Creator Journey Part 1, the genesis of it all. And my purpose for this uh, episode was because lately I've been scrolling to TikTok, uh, Twitter, I mean to say, and um, I, I've been so, I mean, my, my circle and the algorithm that's been pushing from Twitter or X now, as I call it, thanks Elon, um, is it's, it's more on my circle. The algorithm is pushing conversations on, on podcasting. So I kind of, I was inspired by Twitter's algorithm, what algorithm it was pushing me to, let's say, teach what I know, of course, through everybody who wants to start. This is a basic beginner course on, uh, it's a free basic beginner course on what to do when you're starting out a podcast or starting out a vlog, basically. Anything that has to do with content creation, because like I said, the title, the, the main title is, of course, Create a Journey. So, of course, um, the, the benefits of creating, uh, the benefits of creating a podcast or a vlog, you, you gotta, uh, it, at first, for me, if I look back, when I started out this journey, I, I would love to share the fact that I did not know anything about podcasting, first of all. And I didn't even know what, what podcasting was. All I knew was I wanted to speak. And uh, my first episode I created was basically something simple. I hope um, Anchor doesn't remove it because it was one of the times when Anchor, when Anchor at the time was... Uh, becoming popular, of course, when it was owned by Gimlet. That was the time where everybody was hopping on the trend of podcasting. And of course, it died down. And then around the pandemic, of course, 2020, that's when I decided to revive the show. Again, I had no idea, which to me is a good thing. I, I consider that a benefit because as you age in the process, you begin to form some form of identity out of nothing. And it's good. But for those who are beginners and who have an idea of what you want to do and how you want to execute it, I mean, go ahead. I, it, it's best to start rather than start with or without something rather than not doing it at all. Because that is actually what benefited me down the long, long term. And then um, as I created first season, second season, third season, second season and third season, I wanted it to be more like a journaling thing because I wanted to journal my thoughts through my podcast. Of course, at that time, I was not comfortable um, being in front of a camera. So what I did was I had to do it all on audio, which is all available on YouTube and on Spotify. 
And then, of course, from then on out, uh, from season two and season three, I continued to push the podcasting. What, 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 what else? You know, and I still didn't have a plan. And I'm I'm gonna get to the plan part later. So what I did was uh, I wanted to I wanted to do something. I wanted to create an interview kind of style thing, and I was just thinking about what it's gonna be. And um, I've been throwing down ideas. Of course, at that time I was so excited. I was I had so many things that I wanted to do, and the only thing that I thought of at that time is. A cup of coffee so i did the let's talk series which is one of my favorite series that i've ever done and it's still the highest by numbers that i've done in terms of episodes and i'm hoping this series would beat that uh, and i wanted it to go to 100 this series to go to 100 so i did let's talk series and um, of course i want to talk about that in a in detail on how i created that series and how it uh it he- helped me be more authentic and how it gave me a lot of insights on saying i want to dissect everything that i've done in the let's talk series so later on on another episode in this in this segment uh, in this series segment and then, of course, from then on out, um, around 2022, uh, I I wanted to do adulting. So, I mean, I wanted to, do, I had no choice but to do adulting. And then I decided to, um, I had to work. So after that, I got laid off of work. I mean, I just only stayed there for two months and I got laid off. Of course, I was back in the field of the unemployment, so... I had more time in my hands. So what I did after that basically gave me the opportunity to finish. And for me, I'm a lucky number. I'm a numbers guy. I mean, I'm a numbers guy in terms of lucky numbers and all that stuff. For me, my lucky numbers are nine and five. So I was looking at the series, the seasons that I had, and I looked at it and I saw that it is the fifth season. So this time I wanted to do a different version of what I was doing with season four. And uh, I thought of a theme, reflection, looking back. And uh, of course, my first three episode four, or three, four episodes from season five, I tried to do it on my own and um, I enjoyed it. I mean, I tried a different strategy in the marketing, which we'll talk about also. And uh, I did I did my best and um, yeah. And then I closed up season five, I think, the end of uh, one year ago and then I took a long hiatus this is where things got interesting it's okay to be consistent but it's also okay to take a step back look at everything assess what you've done and look at it in a fresh with a fresh pair of eyes because that is where you can build your own because you have data and you you have data to work with so now where can you take this data and take it to the next level? So, so that's where the the benefits end. You know, it was that excitement, that vibe. It's all good. It's all happy. It's all high up, up wave. Now we go down to the downside of it. The downside of it is if you really don't have a vision or anything that is linear to what you want to achieve in your podcast, The downside is, of course, burnout, lack of passion, lack of everything. It all falls down. And when it falls down, when you come down crashing, believe me, pal, it is not the kind of crashing that you want because it's it's equivalent to losing a job because majority, based on observation, this is one thing that I've learned. um, When I joined the community of Philippine podcasters here in the Philippines, um, we we grew exponentially during the pandemic but the downside of it was uh, two or three years down the line the people that i was associated with began to start falling off and i won't i don't really have anything to say against them i mean of course life came back you know because the pandemic the vaccines everything everything had to go back to normal i won't blame that it's circumstance it's understandable 
So, yeah, I mean, there were a lot of people who were truly passionate, love podcasting, all that stuff. They gave their all. And then they did at least two or three years and then pod faded. That's the word that's been circling around. And I just learned that word a few months after I realized that a lot of podcasts pod fade after three or four years. And I surpassed that, which is kind of weird. I'm still doing this. And I, I started in the pandemic and I'm still doing this. So my consistency is based on my passion for speaking and, you know, getting messages out there about motivating and and now I'm getting into the philosophical side and the journaling side so I still do not know where the vision of my show is so I'm opening up doors which hopefully will lead me somewhere down the line with the show and uh, yeah that was the downside of uh, of getting a podcast show with no uh, with no plan and uh, no direction and you're easily uh, you're easily demotivated by the things that you do so yeah i mean the only way the only solution to that is of course goes to these advices that i'm going to give you so the first advice that i would give you is um, they would say people would say niche and for me i find it a little bit um uh, I find it a little bit hard because if you are a person who has so many interests, so many things, so many passions that you want to talk about, it's very hard to quantify something. If you're like me, it's very hard to quantify one subject and just be focused. There are some people who have that ability. Believe me, I won't shit on them because they have the ability and they have the the focus, the laser focus on speaking getting on one topic and going on one topic which is fine but for me i'm not that kind of thing i i love movies i love tv shows i love philosophy i love now i love video journaling which i believe is going to be a new thing with through podcasting or vlogging so i i i'd love i love all these topics so i again during my third year I took a step back and I looked at the three topics that I was truly passionate about. And like I said, I just want to open these three doors and hopefully one of these doors would lead me to a business purpose or a purpose that would make me take my life to the next level. And that's my vision for my show. Uh, And yeah, so that is my one advice is if you are a my, if you are a person who has so many interests and you cannot really niche down, it's best to start something and start somewhere. Start from one topic or start from those three topics, mix and match. That's where you build your own niche because you know you have your own idea of combining entertainment and mu- uh, entertainment and music or entertainment and podcasting that's where you build your personal brand again another episode we're going to talk about and then yeah so you you just go with whatever your gut tells you but you have to make sure you got a plan so that's my second advice plan it out first sit down with yourself plan it out what topics are you passionate about i want to share this idea that i learned from vanessa lau and she made this content uh, matrix i'm i'm going to put her link here on on that so she has this how to get ideas uh and this is for youtube by the way i'll put the link on the description on spotify where you can come up with so many ideas out of this matrix i kind of tweaked it a bit and made it my own if you want to know about that i'll make an episode about that just leave you leave your thoughts in the comment section on youtube Uh, let's make it happen so yeah so you know you have to have a strategy you have to have a plan that's advice number two take a step back look at if you have if you've already started and you don't know where you are you're directionless take a step back look at it assess it get the data gather audit your content audit whatever you need to do make sure you have the data and you said okay this works that works compare compare and contrast so getting all that getting data content strategy and just keep going you know keep going at the pace that you are comfortable with so number three is consistency is good but there is a catch be consistent with yourself first because if you are not consistent with yourself then 
it, you cannot you cannot make a promise to it's it's like a relationship thing when you're building something you have to go 110% but then of course there's a you should know when take a step back and say okay i need to rest from here because i noticed that there is a new trend where a lot of the favorite youtube content creators have been burnt out and took a hiatus like Vanessa Lau i mentioned earlier and some of these po popular YouTubers, they really took a sabbatical because sometimes creating content is exhausting. It goes to the point that you as a creator will lose your identity with your work. And the only way you can do that is taking a step back. So you have to take a step back. And this is, this is like advice for the beginners because if you are a professional, I'm sure you don't even need to be in this show because you already know what you're doing. But for the beginners, take a step back and learn to strategize your way without burning out. Because if you can do that, you're set. You're set. So yeah, um, if you want intermediate stuff, I mean, I can also do intermediate stuff because I'm already on my way. I can journal my thoughts and share my thoughts. You can share your notes. We can exchange stuff and build a community because I'd love to help. That's my passion. I'd love to help. It doesn't matter who you are, what race is or what belief you are. I just want to help you and I just want to have a conversation. And basically, I've been here at home a lot, so I haven't seen human flesh in a long time. So, yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that's those are the three advices. Um, I forgot what the three advices are. But uh, my three advice is, uh, I know the second advice is having a plan, getting started, and being consistent. But you should know your limits. So if you want to know more, get, let me know what you want to know more. I would leave the question right down below. And um, good luck. If you guys are starting out this year, 2024, guys, get started. You know, an opportunity is, if you miss the opportunity, you will never get it back. And time is precious. Treat time as an asset. Don't treat it as a liability. With that in mind, this is a very long episode. I love it. I love the energy that I'm giving here. I hope to make more segments like this helpful. If you find this episode helpful, give it a thumbs up. And with that in mind, folks, cheers. And I will see you in the next episode.